Hi, we're here at Fairview High School for the uh, boys and girls basketball game. Right now we're watching the girls game. Uh, for our coverage tonight, we have uh, Wesley Adcox, the producer, Josh Flake, the director, Owen Jackson on camera, and Jordan Jones also on camera, Morgan Holt, and myself, Andrew Gunkel, commentating. And we hope you enjoy the game tonight. How are you feeling about homecoming? Um, it's, I feel like this is going to be a good game. Yeah. Whatever happens. Yeah, hopefully, I hope so. I mean, it's a big game tonight. Yeah. So, we'll hope for the best. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people tonight, you know. Most yep. people don't come to the games, which is kind of disappointing. But Yeah, especially because, like, it's basketball, and it's a really cool thing to come out and see. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I play basketball, so I like it. I watch it as much as I can. Now it's time for our, uh, our yellow jackets right here. Uh, our starters, let's see who's starting tonight. For Starting for the Lady Yellow Jackets, it's going to be a big night. <laughs> Number 12, Molly Graham is starting. Number 14, Jesse Mangrum. That's our three girl, in case you didn't know. Number 15, Ashley Jordan. She's a freshman. Just kidding, she's a sophomore. I knew that. And that's our freshman, Audrey Cox. Man, we have a freshman starting. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. And Harley Orr is starting. She's a sophomore. I think this is her first game to start. It's good. Huh. That's exciting considering yeah, it it's is. coming home. I'm sure she's pretty nervous. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can get jump ball. What was your favorite part about basketball when you played? Um, I think it was just the rush of actually playing. Yeah. It was like you actually get into the game. Yeah. Kind of like with anything you do. I mean, yeah. if, if you're liking it and you're having fun and just doing it, it makes it a lot better. It does. So we have our freshmen participating in jump ball. And if we win this, I'm going to be extremely happy. Just saying. And we, and did. we did. Ooh, good job. Okay. So the girls' record, I think, they've won five games, maybe six games. I don't remember. It's either five or six. So they're doing better than the boys' team so far. Let's see if we can come out with another good win. Uh, do you know anything about basketball in particular? <laughs> Not really. No? Okay, well. I do, and I don't. Hmm. Would you like to learn some things? Okay. Okay, well, actually, I guess maybe I should start off with what do you know about basketball? I know dribbling. Oh, that's And good. passing. Yep. That's and we score. Oh, those are those are the three best things to know, so that's good. This is a free throw. You, yes, you probably I know about free throws. <laughs> <laughs> they count for one point. When yes. you get fouled. And she made her first, so they're leading by one. This is the second free throw. <laughs> <clears throat> and she made that one too. But, okay, so a lot of times, like, the refs, especially lately and probably being the late games in the season, they're a lot more picky, like, about what they call and stuff. So it can get kind of frustrating sometimes. And, ooh, that was a three-point play. And... They are up by three points already. Wow. And it's a turnover by Fairview. So Audrey tips the ball out of bounds, but we don't recover, so it'll still be black ball. Good hustle, though, by the freshman. Yeah, it was. You know, basketball's really, it's kind of hard to watch for me sometimes because I get into it and I just want to yell and like, <laughs> yeah. like break things, but I can't. And that's another point for Pat. Man. It's already, we're already down by six and it's just started. Yeah. Molly's a good ball handler though. She's probably one of the best that you any can of the really teams see played. It. Yeah, she's just, she's very confident. I think that's part of the thing. You have to be confident in what you're doing and confident in your teammates. Yep. Because if you're not, you know, we play some teams like that and they just look kind of scared, you know, going up. Yeah. And then nothing really works out for them. So it's good to have that kind of mentality. Uh, it looked like Black tipped it out of bounds, and of course that was. Je I told you she was the three girl. <laughs> I wasn't lying. 
So now we're only down three points. It's good. It is. Well, I mean, it's not good. It's better. Better. I guess. True. Yeah. yeah. So I see you're representing that jacket pride tonight. Of course, because it's coming home. Oh yeah. Who do you? Who did you vote for for coming home? I didn't actually get a chance to vote. Oh really? No. If you could have voted, who would you have voted for? Um, I think Cass. Yeah. Um, I just think he's a really cool person. So. Likewise, that is who I voted for indeed. So Fairview's hustling a little better, and we stopped the ball and gonna get it down okay. the floor, hopefully without a turnover. It's and out of bounds. <laughs> that ended pretty quickly. Right when I said that they got a turnover. So now it's gonna be black ball. You know, our defense in the beginning of the blah 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 in the beginning of the year <laughs> was a lot better than it is now. Like if you watch stuff like that happens and they just go yeah. right around them a lot. I feel like that could be just like a self confidence thing afterwards. It just kind of depletes what you've been working for. So yeah, yeah definitely. Keep if, that up. if you let if you let your mistakes get to you, it'll definitely change the whole game. But if you can just live with it and know you messed up and move on, then it'll sure help the whole game a lot. It you will. and your teammates both. Yeah. Right? Cause if you have a bad attitude, then yeah, then it kind of brings them down too. Good hustle by Fairview. Yes, and it was. Looks like they called a timeout, though, to save their end of the court. <clears throat> I'm sure Coach Wayne's not that happy. They, they've already had, I think, four to five turnovers. and Yeah. We've only been paying for three minutes, two and a half True. minutes. True. And they have 11, and Fairview has three, so. <laughs> and, yeah. That was kind of really quick. They got on the board fast. They did. They made a lot of quick baskets. That can also hurt us too because then yeah. we start getting unconfident because getting beat that much by like that quick in the game. It, yeah, you know. but we kind of have to keep our heads up to, to win. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whenever they, they played them last time, it was another close game. But, well, in the beginning it was anyway, and then this kind of same thing happened. They started just to lose confidence and I don't know. I feel like that's something that we really need to work on. Um, they had really good ball movement there, but we just, ooh, and she got fouled, so that's gonna be our ball. And but they're going to have a chance to get up the floor again. They're pressing too, so it looks like it's kinda hard for them to get it in and across yeah. the court, but. And they got a jump ball quickly and it's going to be black ball I believe so Coach Wayne does not look very happy we haven't mm -hmm. even had any chances to score yet except that once so yeah and we did I guess so that's good but yeah not necessarily the best to be 11-3 13 now oh yeah 13 <laughs> now they just scored yes they did we're just being careless with the ball yeah that was like that. Yeah. You gotta get control of it. Sure do. But at least we have it across the floor this time, so they're not gonna press, and maybe we can run something and score some points. True. That was some good handling there. Yeah. She must be confident, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they run the same plays as we do. They're just modified versions of it. And Coach Wayne knows what he's doing, so they really do work. It's just the point of being able to execute them correctly. Yeah, it's different from being in practice and actually competing against someone. Yeah, it's a lot different. And, oh. Oh, I went out and in, almost back in again. And Fairview with the block and the steal. So let's see if we can make something happen this time. Let's see. <laughs> We're crossing our fingers. At least they're moving the ball well. True. I feel like that was an unnecessary so shot, though. Excuse me, I'm sorry I cannot speak right now. I feel like that could have, the changing could have been avoided there. I feel like we could have gotten that. Yeah, I agree. At least we're hustling good, though. Yeah, it seems like we're working well as a team. It's just we're not getting there yet. Yep. I can tell you, you know some basketball. 
<clears throat> so they're already going to have a chance for some more free shots here. And we're down 10. Yep. We've been playing for four and a half minutes, but they missed. Good job, student section, getting loud. It's a good thing. It is. It's really hard to concentrate. It's a lot more stressful than you'd think to sit there. Everyone thinks that it's really easy, but it's really yeah, not. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it'd be easy having people yell. <laughs> yeah, they're, just, they're really in your head. Oh, but got it though this time. Guess it didn't bother her that much. They look like they're just really scared and they're trying to go too fast. Yeah, I feel like maybe it's nerves. Yeah, they need to just slow down and see what they have and do it the right way instead of getting scared and just throwing it around. They're making them have to play defense a little more this time though, so. True. Ball movement's better. We're actually got it down the floor. Oh. It was a good pass, but they yeah. called it off of Desiree, so it's going to be black ball. <clears throat> see if we can get it back down the court after them. I hope so. It is coming home. Yeah, this is the game to always win. It was a good defense. It is. But we didn't box out, and they called a foul, so it will be black ball. That's a big thing. If they get all the rebounds, then we won't have any chances to, to get down the floor. So you got to make sure you get rebounds. Yeah, that's pretty important. So we actually have a chance. Yeah. And she's off. I think that was her third three already, and she's missed all of them but one. I thought she was going to shoot it again. They're moving the ball really good, too, though. Yeah, they are. And again, they got the rebound, which caused them more shots to shoot for free. Free. You know, I never understood why it was called a, uh, call, called a, a free throw. Because it's not really free, because you get beat up. Yeah, you get beat up for it, but then, you know, it's kind of like... I guess that makes sense. You don't have to do nothing to get it. <clears throat> Coach Wynn doesn't look happy. Calling a timeout, I'm sure he's probably going to yell at him a little bit. Same, some choice words, possibly. You know. I feel like if they got their confidence, that would be... Yeah, and I think that's the biggest part, you know. That's what coaches, I know Coach King for us, whenever we're like, when we're really losing down, he gets mad and like, it's good because it kind of realizes it. Like, it's not always good to just be easy on us because yeah. cause if we realize that, hey. You don't we, have motivation yeah, to. Yeah. Like, if we can do this, maybe we'll get that boost back and we'll go yeah. out and we'll play stronger. I feel like if we could get on the board a little bit more, then it would be more of a confidence booster. Yeah. It's definitely a good thing because when you start getting hot, you just you keep feeling it. But yeah. when they're getting hot, they keep feeling it too. And that's what's happening right now. So we either need to stop them or we need to get some points up too. And she'll miss the, the second one. There you got the rebound finally. And with the turnover though, I believe that was Sarah. She played good defense. True. She made the turnover and got back in time, and it was out on black, so it's going to be white ball. That's good. Maybe we could get it down the court, but they're playing pretty tough. They are. They're playing really tight defense. Um, This set, and she walked. I feel like he should have started with the original starters this game, Coach Wayne. I'm not really sure why he started with the people he did. They're not the usual starters, but maybe sub them and after we got on a little bit of a roll, you know? Yeah. Instead of making it different right off the bat. But who knows? Anything can happen. Yeah, we still have three more quarters, so. Yep. And it looks like they're starting to get a little more aggressive already, too, so. Yeah, that could definitely help them or hurt them. True. That's true. It could hurt them. But hopefully it'll help them. <coughs> Wait, was that supposed to be a pun? Like, like physically hurt them because they're aggressive? Possibly. Oh, I like that. That was nice. Good defense by Fairview causing them that, to turn it over. That was good. Smart moves right there. Trapping them in the corner. Make them throw it away. I feel like 
if I was Molly right now, Coach Wayne would have just told me to slow down and calm down. Yeah, I feel like the nerves and just like anxiety and then you just can't control it after that. Yep. It was a good pass, good look. Yeah, she definitely got fouled there. But especially being like coming home, everybody's nervous right now anyway. Yeah, all the pressure's on because yeah. it's other a big teams, game. Yeah, the other team's not nervous. They just want to come it's, win like always. But It's just another game. Yep. That was a really good look to Sarah, but couldn't, wouldn't fall. And Audrey got the rebound and a good look down low. Yeah, nope. They called a foul, though, because she jumped and Desiree went into her, so she'll be shooting her free throws. Desiree's a pretty good free throw shooter. This will give us a chance to get a little Yeah, she more. can just, yeah, she'll hit these and get us on the board a little. I feel like that could help our confidence, definitely. She misses the first one. Still one point's better than no point, so. Exactly. <laughs> <coughs> So do you plan on uh, sticking around for the boys' game also? Yes, I will be commentating for the boys' game. Oh, interesting. you have to give me a shout-out, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we didn't make that next free throw, so the score is no. still 3-14, to 14, but, you know, who knows? Maybe all we need is... Crowd like that one. <laughs> Maybe all we need is for this quarter to be over so we can get our minds straight. And Yeah, I think that would really help us just thinking. Yeah. I think that's part of it. Yeah. Come out a little harder next quarter. She missed the ball and oh. overthrew it because she got nervous. So, you know, that's part of it. Yeah. She's still a freshman. So. She still has a chance to learn. Yeah. Has three more years, so. Yeah, she's going to be really good when she's a senior. She's starting already and she's a freshman, so I'm excited to see what the future of Fairview High School has to wait for. <coughs> looks like they're playing straight matchup D now. And it looks like they're not letting anything on the inside, which is smart because that's where they've been getting hurt most from. Definitely. <coughs> you know, for for a team that's only won won five games, we really we really could be a really good team. Yeah. Like if we would just do stuff like that all the time, because we're capable of it. Yeah, we just have to execute it. Yeah. That was really good. I mean, that was. we got the stop, we got the steal, and now with 17 seconds, we have a chance for for another score right before the quarter ends. I feel like if we could get it in before the quarter ends, that'd be really big. Yep. Especially just coming out from, from a new quarter and all that. So maybe going to the next. And it's, it's the end of the quarter. And they didn't score, but but that's okay. Take a breather here. But you know what? Looking at it, it doesn't look like their coach is very happy either. And I don't honestly, I'm not sure why, but they're playing good. I mean, they are. They've been they've been doing a lot of stuff right. Of course, know. Fairview's been doing things right, and it hasn't really gotten us there yet. Yeah. But you know, shots will fall, and they won't fall. And We've had some turnovers. You know, what Coach King tells us is that if we can hold 10 or less turnovers, then we have a better chance of winning. And that's really true because if you turn the ball over a lot, then that's more times that you can't true. score. And you don't have can. the ball, you can't score. Exactly. So if anything, just try to have the ball as much as you can. <clears throat> I'm sure Coach Wayne is getting under their skin right now. Probably. I feel like maybe it's just like it's home, it's coming home, and yeah. it's it's a little rough, especially like starting the game and you're like, oh, this is for my school. This is something that people will remember. Yeah, they're coming off with the rough start, but you know at least the fans are supporting. You know, yeah, we're people always holding supporting. signs. Yeah, everyone's standing, screaming, yelling. That's good. It helps. It really it, does. Yeah. Because actually having people there to support you is kind of yeah, important. It just, yeah, it gives you a reason to actually play, you know. Yeah. When there's a big game and it's home and nobody cares to come to the game, it just makes you really not even want to play. Yeah, because, like, what's the point of playing if no one's there to see it? Yep. 
Now, just starting off the second quarter, Fairview had the ball and we turned it over almost immediately. So we definitely need to do something different on offense and make better passes, yeah. not turn the ball over more. Our defense looks just a hair sloppier also. Coach Wayne might have wanted them to do that, but I don't know. And they, oh, no, they didn't get it. And they got it this time, though. <laughs> They got their rebound and went back up with it, so. It's now 16 to three. And Sarah drove. Oh. That was good ball movement. That was. With the score. Sarah so. drove right down the middle and passed it for the assist. And now we are 16 to five, which is a little better. <laughs> yeah, only down 11 points. But we still have a whole half and six minutes to go. True, so we can, anything can really happen now. Yeah. You never know. They might foul out or, I mean, hopefully that doesn't happen, but somebody could get hurt. I mean, anything could happen. They're going to call a blocking foul, being too aggressive on the ball. We're lucky that she didn't try to go up for that because she could have, and then they would have been shooting for it. <coughs> You know, the thing is that their defense really isn't that bad. This team, I honestly think, is just playing really well against us tonight. Yeah. They've made most of their shots, and they've been making good passes. I don't know that they have any turnovers, maybe one to two. Yeah, just a couple. It hasn't been that many. Yeah. But Fairy's not doing bad either. No, they're, they're playing well. It's just yeah, little things. Yeah, just keeping it together. Also, we're having a hard time getting our shots to fall because yeah. 11 out of 10 times, Sarah would have hit that shot. But I don't know. I guess we're just having an off day. And that was too easy. Yeah, that really was. <clears throat> They're playing really hard defense. I feel like Coach should set up a different inbounds play to make them get the ball in a little easier. Yeah. Ah. Well. Fairview now has the ball are. though at least. True, that's true. And they seem to be, at least they got across this time. And they're making good passes, moving the ball. Gonna give it a chance to set up the offense and work something around. They're doing really good passes. They are. That was a really good look. And out of bounds. Uh, they hit it out of bounds and black ball. See, every time down the floor, sh they should at least shoot it so that there's a yeah. chance to go in. At least take a shot for it because worst that can happen is you don't score. Yeah. If you don't, you never... If you don't try to score, you can't score. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I feel you. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. More free throws though for them. And they've been pretty hot on their free throws, so they I wouldn't have. I wouldn't be surprised if they hit these. Put them up to twenty points. And they have nineteen now, they made. made their first one. Looks like they're subbing in. Fairview. The crowd is sat down now. It's a little disappointing. Yeah. I know when I'm out there and they sit down, it makes me feel like they're non-caring. See, that's just, it's that, really, it's yeah, really careless. Just, that should have been avoided. It, yeah. The whole thing, just the passion I've been made, same with that. Just take your time and slow down and make a good pass, and then yeah. they won't have a chance for an easy layup. It, there we go again. Two conse consecutive layups off of steals. Coach Wayne is probably furious. More than likely, because it's 24 to 5, and that's a little tough. Yes, it is. Coach Wayne called the timeout. They're probably frustrated with the fact that we just got turnovers with quick scores after. Yeah, that's, that's frustrating. It is, definitely, especially in a game like this. Their coach seems to be okay with it, though. They're all smiling big. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're winning now, so. <laughs> Have been winning, yeah. Yeah, they. <laughs> but, you know. It it's will always be a what chance. it will be. There is, really. It's only 5 to 24. I've yeah. seen crazier things happen. 
<clears throat> Looks like he got a full timeout. Probably, if I was him, I would hope that he'd be going over some some new inbounds plays because I think that's the the worst part that they're yeah, doing right now. Yeah, most definitely. Just getting the ball in, and being able to do something with it. So let's see if they do something different coming out. Maybe, maybe the other team will not press and give them a chance to get it across half court. There's a possibility. <laughs> I'm sure they'd all like that. Yeah. And they don't look like they're playing as pressure defense, but. No. Well. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon yeah. because there's another turnover and. And oh, it's, I hope they don't let that. No. Oh. Well, at least she didn't make it, but she did get True. fouled, and she'll be shooting too. So maybe she's not a good free throw shooter. We can hope. Yeah, let us hope. <clears throat> Here, the crowd's still getting loud. That has to be one of the strangest free throw shots I've ever seen. And she did miss, so that's good. It's good for us. Yeah. It's good for them too. I'm just kidding. It's not good for them. And they miss again. Yeah. I need to just say that every time they shoot free throws, maybe they'll miss. Yeah, well they're still pressing and it looks like they're having a really hard time getting the ball to yeah. across off. I feel court. like we're moving really fast though. Yeah, and that's the thing is that when they press you, that's what they want to do is they want to uh, make you go fast. Let me slow down and think. Yeah, that's what you have to do to to stop it, is you have to slow down and be under control so that you don't just throw the ball away. Yeah, you just can't do that. And we have another free, free throw. <laughs> three throw, yep. But the thing is, Coach Wayne just had a timeout to tell them obviously something to do, but we've had probably four plus turnovers yeah, already in this half. I feel like we're we're just giving it to them. And it, we're playing hard though. We we're are. really trying. Something's just not working. They got their own rebound after a free throw. I'm sure Coach didn't like that. They're getting easy looks inside. And, and they're getting yeah. their rebound. So. It's something we can't let happen. Nope. So if we can get that, then we could get down the court. Yeah. If we could just get a couple of rebounds, we'd have a chance to get down and with a couple of possessions at least. I mean, we haven't even had possession of the ball for probably more than 30 seconds or so. Yeah. it's They've had it for most of the game. It's One, two, three, four, five, and six. six. Six seconds. I feel like they just really need to slow down and yeah, take their time. I, I feel like when they're passing, it's moving too fast for them to actually get a good shot. Yeah. Just all of it in general. Well, Desiree got fouled again. So she missed her first two. Maybe it'll be a wake-up call and she'll hit these next two. Like you said, she's normally good at this. So she is. And I'm sure she's nervous. She is a senior and it's it's coming home. And yeah, This is her last coming home, so. Yeah. Aw. That made me sad. <clears throat> Come on, Desiree. You can do it. Hit these free throws. I think, again, it's one of those nervous things. Yeah. Just not taking your time. I mean, when you only have five points and you're down like this, it's basically up to you to, to get the game going. Um, they got the ball afterwards, so they'll be heading down the court. They really are getting after it. They are. We got lucky they missed because that was an easy layup. That was. But it's going to be our ball. Which is good for us. Yeah, for the 30 seconds we have it. Hey, oh, I might be wrong. There, they seem to be moving around a lot better. Oh, we have a chance and... We got a rebound, rebound though. though. Ah, we missed two layups though. That's another thing is that most of the shots that we have been able to take haven't went in. True. So when you take them, they just don't. And I mean, you can't you can't really help that. There's nothing you can do. Sometimes the shots go in, sometimes they don't. So it's just one of those nights, I guess. 
Man, I feel like they've shot free throws more than they've shot regular shots this game. I think they have. They missed the first one. And they're gonna sub out. Jesse came out of the game. Which I don't know why. I think Jesse's the biggest motivation motivational player on the on the team. Like she really starts it. She's good at hitting shots that are important when nobody else can make shots, she's good at it. So I feel like they should keep her in. Yeah. But I'm sure Coach knows what he's doing. I'm not a coach for a reason, and he is, so. You're not a coach because you're a high school student. Well, and that would be a pretty good reason, I would think. <laughs> they moved the ball a lot better this time, and they missed the layup again, and they missed two layups again. And, oh, maybe. And they got the rebound, but there was a trip involved. It looks like she was going up for another shot, but I think they called the foul on White on Fairview and they did so yes they did they're gonna be shooting more free throws I feel like most of this game has been in free throws I agree I really hope that they can do something different at halftime to to make this work it's 527 there's still a chance I mean anything can happen in never lose hope I feel like that maybe. Oh, we're playing a little more aggressive now. Yeah, that's and it was good. We got almost got a steal off of it. I feel like huh. if we keep playing like that, then oh. And and we did get a steal. That's good. Oh. Ah, uh, if Sarah wouldn't have touched it, I think that would have been out on. I think on it would have been out at them. Yeah. At least she made the steal, though, but again, she missed the simple layup, so yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I guess it's just the shot quality going in. I mean, looks like we decided to press now, push the pressure on them a little bit. Yeah. We are playing a lot more aggressive now. We are. Let's see if it'll pay off. That was a big block, and everybody seemed to like that one. I believe that was Sarah Mangrum with the block. Good thing it wasn't a foul here because I'm really getting tired of watching free throws. Yeah, that's a little boring. I'd like to watch some basketball. And again, they're getting more and more of their own rebounds, which is really hurting us. Really is. That was a good look and a good drive. And that was a good pass, too. But but we pressured them good enough, and they turned it over. So That's good. Fair you ball. Man, if yeah, we if could we just beat this. Get it this, down the court. Yeah. If we and could then just, shoot. Do it one time and make a shot. All we need is just to make one more shot, I feel like, and then and then it's just gonna click. We'll feel a little better. Oh, but they called it a double dribble on Ashley Jordan, I believe, and that would be a turnover. And it is no longer Fairview's ball, which means we cannot score. We don't have the ball, we can't score. So. Could say it a million times, but we are playing a, a lot harder now. We are. You can definitely tell. It's taking them a lot longer to make shots. And they're turning it over some more. Like, we just got the ball now. Oh, nearly lost control there. Yeah, kept it alive, though. That's good. I believe that's Ashley Jordan. Uh, should not have picked her dribble up right there, but it worked out. And again, no shots are falling for Fairview. We're also not getting a rebound, so. Yep, we have... I don't know that we've gotten any rebounds this game other I think than maybe like twice. Maybe. Other than that though, I mean, that's crucial. We did win jump ball though, so it's another opportunity to score some baskets. And that did not happen. Bounced right off the front of the rim. But we're still playing hard defense. We are. That's a step up from the beginning. That was good hustle. And I think they're going to call it white ball. I think she stepped out of bounds. That's what happens when you play hard defense. You make them turn it over. That's definitely something that we need. Hopefully with just 40, just under 40 seconds left of the half. Oh. They're still being very careless. Yeah, that was. Just, yep. 
you hear some people in the in the crowd yell and take care of the ball, right? I mean, you just it's a big game. You have to make sure you don't just throw it away. It's definitely it's if we could have the ball more would be Yeah. Like like we already brought up before, I mean before they were only having possession for about thirty seconds or less. And you really just can't score in thirty seconds. No, you have to take your time. Hopefully, hopefully we can score in this next five seconds and oh, end with a nearly but Ah it was close, but did not go in. So that's the end of the half. It's been a rough game so far for Fairview. Really has. Coach Wayne's going to have to say some stuff to really, really boost them up. So that's the end of the first half. Thank you for tuning in with us. Um, again, on the coverage tonight for our producer here is uh, Wesley Adcox. Our director is Josh Flake. On cameras, we have Owen Jackson and Jordan Jones. Commentating tonight is... Morgan Holt and myself, Andrew Gunkel, and we hope you stick around to see how the second half goes. And hi, we're back after the halftime um, here on the crew for Fairview High School's game tonight is the producer, Wesley Adcox. Directing us tonight is Josh Flake, the one and only Josh Flake. On camera, we have Owen Jackson and Jordan Jones, and commentating tonight is Morgan Holt and myself, Andrew Gunkel. So... That was a rough half. It really was. Um, what would you like to see differently um, this half? Thinking. Thinking through. Yeah. Slowing down a little bit. I would definitely have to agree with that. I mean, and hey, we thinking. Yes, thank yes. you. That's, that's good stuff. And again, a, a tip. She almost stole it, but she tipped it out. So they're definitely hustling more. They're yeah, getting it right off was a really good thing, I guess. Yep. Coach Wayne must have sure yelled at him a lot to get him to do this. And it's turned over a chorus now. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, let's just hope that their defense has improved, too, as well as their offense. So they're down 20 points. And a little more than that now. And they hit a three. So now they're down 23 points. And... They get it in bounds, but there's nothing they can do with it. And it looks like she dribbled it off of the other team's foot. Whoops. So it's going to be Fairview's ball still. So. But we really are having a hard time getting it in and getting it across half court. Yeah. That was a real tr problem in the first half. A real trouble. Yes, it was. Yes. <laughs> good ball movement, though, still. Yeah. And we are getting it in offense. They're making good passes. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, We're taking shots now, and there we go. We got the rebound, though, and we made this, the basket afterwards. So, We're, Aggressiveness is definitely helping us right now. Yes. And We're pressuring the ball, causing them to miss. We got another rebound. And Sarah's taking it down the floor. Got past half court, which kind of has been our real Ten. issue. That's been a big deal. We get another rebound. Ah, oh, oh. but she missed it going up this time. That was a good look. I think that was a foul. I think they called foul on... I'm not sure who that was. But she looked like she was trying to tackle her and we're playing basketball, not football. So Can't tackle in basketball. That would be a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, we definitely need a stop ball. We can't let him just keep driving right down yeah, the middle Yeah, that like was... That. And that's, that's what happened. Yep, that, there, you stole the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, they definitely should have called a – oh, they did. They called a foul. Good. You know, Fairview, Fairview is it's doing a little better now, but, again, they made those couple scores and they're getting on a roll. But now and that they're – Yeah, now that they're stopping them, it's – They can't let them get far. Yeah, it, they're – they got to keep doing that. They can't just halfway do it and then stop. Definitely. And they're fighting for it, and <laughs> I'm not quite sure who that was, but they decided to sit on the ball. And, I mean, maybe it worked out for them. Maybe. Just kidding, because it... It did not. And they're going to throw it all the way across the top court. Oh, and we could have had that Yeah, there. we definitely could have got that steal, but I don't know. Maybe it was safe that she didn't go for it, because I don't know. 
No, she should have went for it. But we pressure them a little bit, and then they turn the ball over. So, really, if we can just... Oh, just kidding. Didn't turn it over. But we cause them to throw it out of bounds. So, if we can just keep pressuring the ball and keep making smart passes and do good on offense, like we're doing right now. Exactly. I think that was another block. I wasn't quite sure by who, but... And we didn't get that afterwards, so... And you notice how quickly they're shooting the ball when they get it? Yeah. Again, they're, they're not being patient enough on yeah, offense. Yeah, they're not, like, getting it there. Yeah, they just kind of get it across half court, and then they shoot it right away because they don't they don't even get it across half court that much. So I feel like that's kind of like, well, we have to do it, so... Yeah. But then again, if, if they could go fast and get it there and then slow down and take their time yeah. and, and maybe get some shots to fall and run plays and stuff like that. That was good by them. Uh, a good little skip throw to get it across. And that's good passing there. Yeah, they're moving the ball more. See, they're being patient, so maybe now they can get something to set up. Being careless with the ball. It's a little crowd noise from Fairview there. Yep. And. And. Ooh. <laughs> and ooh. <laughs> Another basket by Fairview. See if we can just be patient and take our time. That really helps. We, they missed it, but they did end up getting the rebound along with the foul, so they will be shooting some more free throws. That's definitely been a big factor for them tonight is their free throw percentage. Yes. I think they've only missed four this whole night, and yeah, we have... I don't think we've made any free throws all night, so... And make that five. Five's better than four for us anyways. Yes, yes it is. And it looks like they're, uh, Coach Wayne is starting to put the starting five in again slowly. Desiree just went back out. We could definitely use her for rebounding. And they get their own rebound off of a free throw. That's extremely hard to do because you have one of their players sandwiched in between two of ours. Yeah. And um, for them to be able to go around you and, and get the get the rebound, it's, it's really just kind of disappointing as a coach because, like, it just shouldn't happen. Yeah, that's something that we can definitely get there because we have more of a chance to. Yeah, I mean. And we turn the ball over again, so don't even have a, a chance to score because now it's their ball. And they missed the three-pointer, but she's getting thrown around on the court. You can hear Fairview getting loud for that one. I feel like any aggressiveness that we show really gets yeah. the crowd going there. Which, I mean, it's good because that's what we need. Maybe if the crowd keeps showing that they like it. Man, Sarah's flying down there. And that didn't really help there, yeah. though. Flying too fast and didn't take the time and made a bad pass, so. <sighs> I don't know. If we could just figure out how to how to speed it up and slow it down right and... Ah. That went into the yeah. stands. Everyone here in the <laughs> broadcasting room would oot at that one. Sarah Mangrum with a, another block. She's racking up her, her, uh, her chalkboard tonight, you know, making her stats look good. <clears throat> Brushing the ball a little more. It's, it's definitely helping some. Yes. And I'm pretty sure they called a carry on them, so it's going to be our ball. If we can just keep pressuring them, make them work, make them do stuff that they don't want to do, then they'll turn the ball over and we'll have more opportunity to score. True. <coughs> now it's not getting it past half court as much as getting there and scoring. S yeah, scoring once we get it there. Yeah. I agree. If they could slow down, like right here, trying to get the passes done. Like that almost could have been a bad pass. That could have been. But it didn't. We kept it alive, so maybe they can get something to happen. I just feel like they're really scared. Like, like they don't want to do anything with the ball once they get it. Yeah. And we if they do do anything, wow. <laughs> if they do anything, they um, don't get it where it needs to be. Yeah, it's, it just happens quickly and carelessly like that. Like. Yeah. Like there was you no. You can hear that there. Yeah. I mean just frustration. Like they had the ball the whole time. They, they should have been able to keep the ball and eventually made a basket, but it's just those turnovers. 
That was a good foul, though. At least she didn't let her score. So, you know, yes. that's, that's what coaches always say is if you're going to foul them, don't let them score. Yeah, if they get a score, and that's just not worth it. Yeah. What's the point of them scoring and shooting a free throw? Nobody wants that. No. Well, I mean, they want that. <laughs> yeah, they do. And this is the, the same girl who has been shooting her free throws. I don't think that she's made any free throws tonight. So I don't think so. So if I were them, if I was Fairview right now, I'd, if I fouled, she would be the one I would foul. <coughs> Let's just hope that we can actually box out this time and not let them get their ring uh. foul. Or they can just make it and then we'll have the ball. Yeah, it kind of works, but... <laughs> Oh. They get a point. Yeah, not like we want it to. And that is a timeout. The score here at Fairview tonight on this coming home night of of sorrow and sadness because of the score is 11 to 33. And I'm sure you can guess who's a who because, I don't know, overall, I mean, the pieces have been there, but the pieces just haven't been put together. I mean. It's it's just we're having a bad night, I guess, and they're having a good night because their shots have been falling and they've been getting good rebounds and everything's going their way. You know? Yeah, I mean, tonight's like a big night for basketball. It's coming home. It's yeah. And it, I think maybe the pressure of that and being nervous yeah. is really... Yeah, I hope the boys' game doesn't turn out like that because, I mean... I, You're it's, on the team, so... Yeah, yeah, well, that too, but... Just once you get into that situation, when it's 11 to 33, it yeah, just... Yeah, that's, that's a downer. Yeah, it makes you lose hope. I mean, you shouldn't ever lose hope because, no, you know... it's always a chance. Even what Coach King tells us, my coach, is that even if we don't win, if we can make ourselves better, then we win some. Yeah, if you can learn from your mistakes, it's always something that helps you in the next game. Yeah, even if, even if we don't beat this team we make ourselves better by playing them correctly so so when you just get disappointed because you're not winning and you're losing by a lot and you just you don't care anymore and you just throw it away and you do bad stuff like that and it it just makes everything even worse so even when you're losing like this and you're down yeah keep it up yeah you feel hopeless but you just still have to try that was good hustle and Fairview now has the ball so it's good for us I personally think I would run a play to get Jesse to try and shoot a three. I think that hit the ref. <laughs> I th it about knocked the ref over. <clears throat> but like I was saying, I think I would get a play to maybe get Jesse a three-point shot and, and see and if we can get some quick baskets. They got the rebound, so. And a fast break down the floor with nobody back to help, so. But they missed. And Which is great. And Fairview gets the rebound. Jesse's going to take it up the floor. Now I just think she needs to throw it, get a good pass in, and then get. That was a good pass there. It was not a turnover. So any pass that's not a turnover is a good pass, I guess. As long as it gets somewhere. <laughs> and not to the other team. Of course. I just. Uh, uh, ah. No, up, oh, but we got the rebound. And that's what I was talking about too. Just see, I mean, we're we're doing good. We're working, and we're working we got as a shots team, especially up. like we're passing, and we're not. You know, the shots just aren't going in. I mean, I think most of that probably is we're already down a lot, and it's it's a big game and it's nerve wracking. And yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe just it's one of those nights, I guess. We're still not playing bad. No, not at all. But stuff like that, we can't let happen when it's just a quick, fast break like that. But at least we did get the rebound and we didn't turn over, so. That helped us. <sighs> let's see if we can get some points here. That's really all I want. Let's just, let's get some points. This is probably one of the lowest scoring games I've seen in a while. It's the third quarter and Fairview has 11 points. It's a little disappointing. It is, especially being coming home. And, yeah. And you yeah, know we've that. have been preparing all week, you know. Yeah. You know they're a little disheartened, but that that's when you find out what kind of player somebody really is, is how hard they push themselves when they're playing in a situation like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, it's like in anything you do. If you're doing homework and you're behind in your homework and you just 
don't do any of your homework anymore, you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to be far behind. Yeah, you're, you're going to get even farther behind. You're going to be in more of a mess. But if you work hard and do what you're supposed to do and get it done, then it helps you. And it's kind of the same thing here. I mean, yeah, they're behind. I don't know if there's there's much of a percentage chance here that we can come back into this game, but we can make ourselves better. And I of think course, Ocean, and that's what we need. Yeah, I think Ocean needs to play the people who are going to do that. <coughs> and they missed both their free throws. And Fairview did get the rebound this time. Advantage. I feel like we're getting better at that now. Yeah, we're definitely we're rebounding a little better, especially off of free throws. And we're taking our time a little bit. I noticed. We're still a. Uh, we're we're still with the ball, and it's been around 30 seconds. I would suspect. We're moving it around, passing around, making the defense work a little bit. Now we just need to get a good shot and make you something happen. Gotta get happen. it over there. There's only. 40 seconds left. Yeah, oh. I yeah. feel like that was a shot that she didn't have to take, but. Yeah. yeah. At this point, it's almost anything's better than nothing. And True. As long as taking a shot's better than. Turning it over, not taking a shot. <clears throat> but they must have fouled her down on that end because she's going to be shooting more free throws. You know. Whoever made this game, this great sport of basketball, should have should have made a little twist in it, to where like, like if you shoot more than ten free throws in a game, you have to like scoot back to the three point line or something like that. That'd just, be interesting. Yeah. You know, well, just mixing it up there. Yeah. It's a little, a little tiring to see half or more of their points go by from free throws. It really has been. But then again, it's it's Fairview's fault. Honestly, we have to we have to play good defense, but we can't play rough defense. We have to still be smart. And yeah, we have to play the game how it's supposed to be played. Yeah, we got to play basketball, not football. Yeah, you can't play football and basketball. That'd be bad. Yes, I would. And they got a fast breakdown, but luckily uh, the referee caught a travel, so it's going to be turnover for Fairview's ball. Maybe we can make up for that. Maybe like last time, we can hold it and get the last shot and get a shot in before this quarter is over. We have about 20 seconds left, so... You know what, I, oh. just, and I just don't think I'm going to say anything anymore because... Oh, oh, wait. Wait. I, ta I take that back. <laughs> Maybe we can get a really shot quick in there. right now. Oh, oh, oh. And oh. it goes yes. in. Yes. Yes. With one second left. I feel like that's they, just going to be the biggest hey, confidence. I mean, man, they scored. 13 to 35. Oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, when you're a coach in this situation, Coach King has sort of split at times. Yeah, like, he tells us he doesn't know what to say. I mean, at this point, it's, it's really all on them. There's not really anything he can do as a coach. I mean, he's told them what to do and what not to do. It just depends on how they do it, if they yeah, do it. They have to execute. Yeah. So... I, mean, I don't see him see him actually like telling them any specific plays to run or anything like that. It's more of just like a talking to them, you know, do this, yeah. do that. You can see the players are a little, a little hand gesturing. And yeah. It, it looks like an emotional kind of session, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a really emotional game for them, especially being coming home. Yeah, especially some of the seniors here tonight. Yeah. Molly and Desiree and... Coach Barry, though, he doesn't look very happy. No. But he coaches the young ones still, so they still have room to grow. Of course. <coughs> and I feel like that's what we can come out of this with, with growing. Yeah. See, if only everybody on the on the team could think like that. Yeah. Man, that was a no. deep three, too. That's the last thing that we need right now. We're n they're nearing 40 while well, we're still struggling in the teens. We haven't even hit the 20 mark, and they're almost, they're double us right now. Yeah. It's More a little than disappointing. Double. But, you know, most of that, honestly, is off of turnovers, because yes. I would think we probably have 20 or more turnovers already. Yeah. <coughs> and there's another one. It's just carelessness. You just yeah, most have definitely. to make sure they're that. Just, they're not thinking through what they're doing. Yeah. 
I mean, it, it really will hurt you more than anything is to just let them have the ball. Yeah, that you can't, they can't have the ball because then you can't score. Huh. Good job by uh, Molly, though. She got that steal and <clears throat> brought it down the floor. Oh. And that, that was a that, that was deep three. I don't think Coach Wayne was very happy about that, that at all. That seemed unnecessary there. She was almost in the stands when she shot that one. Yeah. But Felt hey, like we could have avoided that. But think, think about how great that would have been though if uh, if she made that. Yeah, that would have been cool. So. But unfortunately, she didn't. And if anybody would though, it'd be her. I tell you what, she's an amazing shooter. Better than most of the players on the boys' team, if, in my opinion. <coughs> it's a good thing, and she can always grow, too. So that's yeah. building up our team for the next year. Yep. More free throws, though, for them. and It's been most of the game. <laughs> it has. It really has. We've, we've been fouling a lot, and we've been having way too many turnovers. And, and part of the issue is they score their free yep. throws. Air free throws, yes. <coughs> which, I mean, you should score your free throws, which is why you just shouldn't foul. You shouldn't give them that chance. Yeah, because <coughs> now they're nearing 40. If she makes this, it will be that 40 mark. And it'll... And it's 40. It's definitely disheartening. But, I don't know, like, like I've said before... There's really nothing you can do at this point except for just keep pushing your hardest for this last six minutes. Yeah, you just can't give <coughs> up because it's just total confidence all gone. Then that just plays out on the team itself too. Yeah, that was a good move. She drove to the basket. They got the rebound but stepped out of bounds, so it's going to be Fairy's ball still. <coughs> it's really kind of disappointing to see how much potential we have right here that's not being used. Yeah. And that's another timeout. <coughs> Coach Wayne there called a the timeout. I'm sure he's probably going to, since he called it right there with the uh, inbounds, I, I feel like he might be telling them about another inbounds play to do or something because they've still been like pressured really hard coming inbounds. <coughs> so if you could pick, what would you say would be the biggest thing that they could do differently tonight to turn this game around? Um thinking i've said this so many times it's just stopping and working yeah <clears throat> i mean you can be an amazing athlete and be just some superstar but nothing will ever work if you can't think it through of course we did get the rebound there and oh got it again that's two consecutive shots but yeah that's the thing and i just i don't know why for some reason our shots haven't been falling that's a good look. And, oh. But she misses again. And they miss an easy layup. And <coughs> then, of course, the ball turned over. So. so what was that? Four straight misses right under the basket? Yes. It's simple stuff like that. I mean, I mean you're, you're playing high school basketball. You have to be able to hit a layup. Yeah, so that's do. something that's really been... Um, pushing us down tonight like we yeah. haven't got to that yeah we've definitely missed some shots that shouldn't have been missed but we've, we've done a lot of things you know that we could have prevented easily but yeah i don't know i feel like it's not mistakes as much as not thinking for beforehand yeah. yeah just not not concentrating on what you're doing instead yeah. of just doing it like seems like kind of <coughs> distracted maybe even yeah and again, it's hard when you get off to a rough start. <coughs> yeah, that was a really rough start. It's just, it's been kind of building on them since then. You can see the crowd's kind of losing interest now because it's just so yep. disappointing to see this happening. I don't really, I don't think that they're losing interest. I just feel like they're disappointed. Like yeah. You said. They're all, they're all in tuned in it all and, and they're concentrating, but I don't know. They just look disappointed. They're not excited as we were when we started the game yep and that's gonna be a foul for fairy this time so maybe we can have some free throws you know my goal is to have tw at least 20 points 
by the time this is over. She's a good free throw shooter. Shooter. Thank you. Also, <coughs> maybe they cast a spell on us when they came. And yeah. Some sort of spell has. Or maybe maybe they like dipped the ball in like metal and made it heavy and then wipes it off whenever they get it or something. Because something like <laughs> that. You know. Because I don't know. Just our shots will not go in. Another three consecutive shots that have been missed that should have been made. Two free throws and an easy layup. And at this point, I think they're just scared. I mean, yeah, I'd it's it's 13 to 41, and they've they've been working, but nothing's been working for yeah, them. Yeah, and I feel like that's more of a <coughs> disappointment as they're working so hard, and you can really see it, and it's just not working. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's disheartening when you're. When you feel like you're giving everything you have, but the score's still 13 to 41, so. I mean, I don't know. I feel it like after they hit that 40, it was just done. Yeah. They've been they've been getting careless again. They were really picking it up when the second half began, and now. Yeah, they came right off the bat with a steal and a score, <coughs> and now they've let more than necessary free throws I mean uh, turnovers go and they miss their free throws, they miss their layups they miss multiple consecutive shots that could have went in And yeah, it's just really careless I think, I think that is a great word that you just used especially with all the turnovers I would like to talk to coach after the game and see just how many turnovers they have because that was a lot it's been so many and and the thing is it's easy to prevent you just make sure that when you throw it to them they're gonna catch it don't throw yeah. it to the other team I mean something and as simple as that wait like eye contact see them you yeah. know see that they're ready see you have a shot I mean just giving them the ball is gonna be the worst thing because our defense has been rough and our offense have been rough. So <clears throat> even if we can't score any, at least keeping them from getting the ball and them scoring yeah, more. Yeah, if we could have the ball more, I feel like that would help us because you can shoot when you have the ball. I agree. Or even if you don't get a shot off, just <clears throat> just having it, don't not letting them score anymore. Yeah, I feel like that would <clears throat> help them not scoring anymore because that would especially not make their score any higher. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like another confidence thing. I mean, if you can at least hold them from yeah. scoring. And we're not doing very well because she just slipped past them. Yep. I mean, they are, they're a good team. I give them that, but the score should not be 13 to 41. No, it shouldn't. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's just kind of one of those things where you have to look at it look at it more of a game more of just having fun at this point instead of a yeah. competition because oh. like like stuff like that yeah it's just like you said before really like like you said it's careless if she just wouldn't have jumped if she would have stood there then she wouldn't have got fouled and she might have missed her her layup and they could have got the ball and they scored again off of a free throw <coughs> another point so we'll see if she has the uh, no that free throw did not go and we got the rebound there's four minutes left to go in the fourth quarter <coughs> and the score is 13 to 42 uh, maybe they can uh, make me proud and score 20 in these next four minutes <coughs> they called a walk on Fairview though which is another turnover which means you don't have the ball again. Pretty much hit that one on the head. <clears throat> Looks like Ashley Jordan's face guarding now, trying to play as tight defense as she can. She's doing a good job. She is. <clears throat> there. Oh. Oh. Have it. I think they caught a foul, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> At least it was good hustle. It was. And it's going to be Fairview's ball. Hmm. Hmm. All we need is seven points <coughs> to hit that 20 mark. 
you know, honestly, even even being on the boys team, seeing the girls in this kind of situation kind of is disheartening for us, too. Yeah, <coughs> that's just kind of, it's coming home and the girls lost. Now the pressure is going to be on you guys, too. To win. Yeah, yeah I mean. Man, did you see that, though? It went right in and right back out. It's just they cannot make any shots, and I no. don't know why. That's not like them at all. <clears throat> Again, another shot. It was really close, but did not go in. And they – oh, oh, nope, nope. Well, that. Uh, there's a lot of hustling. There was, like, <clears throat> four people on the ground, but just wasn't enough. Oh, no. Okay. She did get fouled, though, so – she looks like one of their post players. Maybe she won't be that great of a free throw shooter. <coughs> we will find out. We will. We have 10 fouls this quarter, and they have three. <coughs> she misses. <Ten fouls>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if they've made all their free throws, then that's 20 points just off of fouls in this one quarter, which I don't think they've made all of them. but No, they have not, but oh, no. They made that one, though. Yep, yeah, but now it's 43 <laughs> to 13. I'm no math wizard, but I'm pretty sure that's 30 points. I believe it is. So, oh, oh, no. And straight consecutive shots that should be going in but aren't, that are right under the goal. Two in a row that go in and then bounce out. Oh, oh. That, I felt like that should have been a pass instead of shooting. Maybe she'll use that as her excuse. You know, like, oh, there's a pass, you know. <coughs> no, and was that it was, in the stands again? That was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was good pressure. It made them turn the ball over. I can't tell. <coughs> okay, it was out on jackets, so... Maybe if we can still play tight defense, we can, we can get a stop. If they just don't score oh. anymore, that would be... Oh, fair. <clears throat> good hustle. And foul. That's good. We're going to be shooting, too. Oh, just kidding. She was not shooting. So it's on the floor. And, and oh, we it's a good so could have made that. It's a good play, and it really does work. And the yeah. shot's there, but it's a... Woo. Come on, guys. Just make 20. At 15. <clears throat> Five more points. I feel like we could really do that. Make all the double dribble on. So it's now Fairview's ball again. It's definitely possible to uh, get at least 20 points if they can just really push and really make these next baskets. Then... Oh, oh, yes. There we go. Well, we're getting stuff together in the very last few moments here. <laughs> last two minutes of this game. See, they're more than capable. Yeah, they are. You can really see that. I feel like that first attempt should have been a foul on them, but instead the refs called a foul on us that time. So it's going to be Black shooting some more. Imagine that. <laughs> Just so much shooting. We only need three more points to have 20 points. And let's see if she'll hit these or if not. Cross her and fingers. Oh, mm, no. ah, she Ooh. missed that one. I'm going to cross my fingers again. It worked the first time. Let's and see. Did she make this? Oh, no. Magical. Should have done that the whole time. It's in the fingertips, you know. <clears throat> really, though, three more points with a minute and a half left to go. We could so do this. And. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, they called it out on Black House. That's going to be White's ball, so we still have another chance. That's a really good look. I mean. We have a minute. About a minute 30 left, so. Get another point. We need one more point to hit one that more. 20. There's a minute and a no, half left. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> they can't uh, have the ball. Oh. And two girls down. Ouch. I'm pretty sure they called a foul on on White. 
Yes, yes they did. Yes, they did. So more shooting. Hey, weren't we just here? Yeah, like <coughs> 30 seconds ago. That's if if I could choose, I would definitely think that's the biggest factor to the performance of this game is not fouling so much, not giving them chances yeah. for that extra Ten points. Ten fouls right now is just and also not not giving them all the opportunities because of turnovers. Oh. Now it's 44 to 19. With a minute and 28 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. And a timeout is being called. I'm not sure who called that timeout. It looks like they did. I don't think that was a fair view timeout. But either way, maybe Coach Wayne can talk some sense into him. I think right now he's saying, <coughs> just like I did, let's get 20. Yeah. Just 20. 20 would just be something that we really need to get because that's just halfway at least. Uh, yeah, it's just something. It's, it's it's more than what we have. Yeah, more than 19. 19 points in a whole game is very that's, low. Yeah, that just doesn't seem like <laughs> us. It really doesn't, and I'm glad you said that because, I mean, we don't usually have this kind of performance. We no, usually I've seen our players practice and they're not even like this during practice. That was a good steal by Fairview with <coughs> a shot and they get their own rebound oh, also. And who's that out on? They called it out on black, which means that's still going to be our ball. Which means we have a minute left and there's a possibility that we can get 20. We have one minute left and we need one point. And oh, oh. Please. Yes. And it goes in. So we Thank have 21 you. points. Thank you, Lady Jackets. You made me proud. And see, I mean, when I said that, I wanted 20. They have 13 points left, which means they obviously have been working harder just right now. I mean, they've got an improvement in points and a quick steal. <coughs> yes. And about 30 She's, seconds left. And no. She gets point. fouled. She gets fouled going up, so she'll shoot her free throws. Which means we have a chance for two more. Yes, we do. If we get it just played like this throughout the whole game, we yeah, could... Yeah, this was a really good ending. Yeah, we could be in this game. We could we could definitely have a chance right now. I mean, it just took them too long to start it up and get going with the flow. Let's see if we can make this next one happen. <coughs> And oh, no. it does not go. And Fairview, Fairview gets the it. rebound, though, with the miss. And, and Fairview keeps getting it, though. So that's 23 to 44. I'm telling you, that's that's really good effort right here at the end. <coughs> I feel like they really were trying just to get 20. Yeah. If that's what they should have done at the very beginning, though. You yeah, know, just when, get to when the game first started. They yeah. should have said, "Let's just get 20." And then once Let's they get, get 20. 20, and then once they get 20, 30, yeah, and 40. You know, exactly. So what they can set little goals, and we have one second left in the game, and that would and be the it game. was it was a little bit heartbreaking seeing that loss, but <clears throat> especially on coming home night. But yeah, that it, was an amazing game. It happened like it was. I mean, we gave effort. Thank you for joining us here tonight. It was it was an interesting game to watch with lots of feedback. Hope you enjoyed it. One more time, we're calling out with the crew here working tonight. We have our producer, Wesley Adcox, Josh Flake as our director, Owen Jackson and Jordan Jones on camera. For commentary, Morgan Holt and myself, Andrew Gunkel. And that was the Fairview Yellow Jackets ladies game. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.